Hi, it's Darnell with Way Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to be making boneless wings in the Power Air Fry Oven Elite. So if you like boneless wings, let's get started now. All right, so the creation of these boneless wings actually starts like six hours before the actual cook because we want these boneless wings to be very moist, so I'm going to use a brine for some chicken breast meat that I'm going to be cutting up later. But basically the brine consists of three cups of warm water, one third cup of sugar, and one third cup of kosher salt. So basically I got my warm water, I'm gonna put my sugar and my salt in there and just start mixing the brine. And for you who wanna cool your brine down quick, you can put some ice cubes in if you choose or you can just wait for it to naturally uh, cool down, but I'm just going to basically mix this, mix this up and wait a while for it to cool and then I'll bring you on back when I get the chicken prepared and get it in the brine. Okay, so to get my brine cooled down, I just basically stuck it in the fridge for a little while. You can uh, do what you need to do to get it cooled down. You just don't want to put your chicken in the warm water or hot water. So basically these are two boneless skinless chicken breasts. Now I'm basically going to cut these. I'm going to cut them once in the middle, so cut them once down the middle each. Basically gonna make eight boneless wings out of each 16 total. So cut this one down the middle. I'm uh, left-handed so I'm kind of using my less dominant hand to do the cutting here. Just for the camera position, but uh, now basically I've got them cut in half. Now I'm going to cut four cuts to make eight. So I'm going to cut here, and here. Probably should be using my more dominant hand for the cutting, but it'll be okay. So we got eight boneless wings there, and just going to take them and drop them in the brine. And these, just going to do the same thing, just going to cut and cut. And cut again. Alright, so I've got eight boneless wings out of this one too, so 16 total. Drop them all in the brine. Make sure they're in that brine good. Basically gonna take this, stick it in the refrigerator. They stay in the brine for six hours. I'll be bringing you back in six hours and then that's when we get to more of the actual steps of the cook. All right, so it's about six hours later. About to get the chicken out the brine, but before I do, I'm gonna get my egg wash and breading for these boneless wings together. So I'm gonna run you through the ingredients I also have for the sauce. I have some of this uh, buffalo wing sauce and I'm going to be using a, a quarter cup of butter with this buffalo wing sauce just heating it up in a saucepan and mixing it together. This will be what I'll be tossing the boneless wings in after cooking them. But my uh, egg wash and my breading mix for my boneless wings have these ingredients. There's two cups of buttermilk, four large eggs, there's a tablespoon of uh, cracked black pepper here. There's an ounce of applewood smoked sea salt, an ounce of obey. Also got a half a cup of cornstarch. For boneless wings, this cornstarch will help hold the breading on and make it thicker. So, you know, you have some nice thick breading like you usually enjoy in boneless wings. Two cups of all-purpose flour, two cups of yellow cornmeal, got some cooking spray that I'll be using over there later, but for now, Gonna mix my wet and dry ingredients together. All right, so I've got my egg wash and my breading all mixed up. I've got my boneless wing meat here. I'm gonna take it out the brine, just put it on these paper towels and try and just kind of lightly dry the exterior of the meat just a little bit. I'm not trying to press any water out, I'm not trying to squeeze them, but just kind of lightly dry the exterior of them a little bit. 
All right, so just dry them off a little so that I can make sure that I'm getting a good coating of my egg wash before I put them in my breading. I'm just gonna do one dip into the egg wash, then into the breading, then put them on the crisper trays. After I get them on the crisper trays, then I'll uh, spray them all sides with some cooking spray and that's what they'll uh, get their fried texture in. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, the, for those wondering, I didn't exhaust a full can on uh, on these. This one was already pretty low before I started. So I just had my backup can ready to use that as a backup when I ran out. So now at this point, I just put these into the power air fryer of an Elite. Put one on the top rack, one crisper tray on the top rack. Put the other crisper tray on the middle rack. I'm going to close it up and I'm going to set my cook time. I'm going to hit the french fry button which is 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to go up to about 27 minutes and let that run. All right this has been going 20 minutes. I'm going to stop and swap. So just stop these crisper trays. You see those are getting pretty well cooked. I'll just swap them. Put these up top. I'll just drop these down bottom. I'm going to touch a little of this exterior that I see needs a little coat. You know, I'll just let all those get a little, little spritzing and throw them back in there. Let me just have a look at these. Now I'll hit these with a little spritzing too. Put them on back up there and close up. Gonna let it continue to cook the final seven minutes and then I'll bring you on back. All right, there's just four minutes left, but I'm stopping because those on the bottom, you know, they got a little more cook, but they're starting to get a little near overdone. So I'm gonna close those up and leave the others in for four minutes. I'm just gonna test the temperature on one here. Sorry about that background noise from those still cooking in the power air fryer of an Elite, but uh, that comes with this territory. So we see the temperature of these is moving up very, very rapidly. We're well past 165. It's at 172 now. So those are very well done as we expected. I'm just going to go ahead while those are running start tossing some. I'm going to start lightly tossing these in the sauce. You want to be not too rough about it, I would say. You know, be be easy about it. Don't go knocking them around too much, although the coating seems sturdy. You don't need a lot to, uh, to get them coated. So I'll just be coating these while that uh, continues to cook. The other batch is done and just open up, get them on out of there and see how they look. And if you ever want boneless wings without sauce, you could of course stop now, but we'll keep going. Just going to, for the sake of safety, test one, although I'm pretty sure they're all pretty nice and hot. And we see temperature is moving on up. It's up to 126, 137, 148. Moving, 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 165, and moving on. Basically, when you're air frying like this, you're going to get way beyond 165, so you really aren't worried about just getting it, you know, just to done. You're going to go above and beyond because you're getting a nice coating of hard air fry. Now, notice I pick it up. This one got had a little breading on there, but this one I'm going to pick up. No breading gets stuck. And most of these I can pick up without getting breading stuck. You see that? Most of these I can pick up and not much breading gets stuck. You can press under the bottom of there with a spatula or something if you want to try and ensure that nothing sticks to the bottom of your crisper tray. But the harder that you air fry, when you air fry real hard, the less likely you're going to have sticking. So that's just something to keep in mind. 
you know you can press under that crisper tray to get the breading pressed up but if you air fry hard enough you won't even have to do that the harder you air fry the uh, less sticks in between those crisper trays because it's hard and crunchy those crisper trays get real hot and help spread the heat so that's really how the heat circulates in air frying it's not as much the air being circulated around the whole air fryer as much as these crisper trays it's getting good and hot all right so we got our boneless wings all done here here you go boneless wings from the power air fryer oven elite all right so i got a plate now i'm just going to plate one of these uh boneless wings you can see they're nice and hot and nice looking so i'm gonna get the camera swapped around do a taste test of these boneless wings from the power air fryer oven elite all right our boneless wing hot wing buffalo wing you know, I like to always taste test straight up. You can always pair with whether, whatever type of dipping sauce you prefer. So, just gonna go ahead and taste test this now. Hmm, so good. All I can say is, dinner is served and the video's over. So, you can check out this and other great recipes at superwaveovenrecipes.com. Direct access to this YouTube channel, let's do waveovenrecipes.com. Also on Twitter, Wave Oven Recipes. Instagram, there'll be photos, Wave Oven Recipes. Also, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, leave some comments, and good eating.